This is Twit. I wanted to start off this week by sharing uh, an important piece of interesting news that's not internet security related, but is nevertheless potentially quite a big and serious issue in the real world. Last Thursday's headline in Wired was the dangerous rise in GPS attacks with the subhead thousands of planes and ships are facing GPS jamming and spoofing. Experts are warning these attacks could potentially impact critical infrastructure, communication networks and more. Okay, so I thought that was interesting. It got my attention. They said the disruption to GPS services started getting worse on Christmas Day, meaning at you know the end of 2023. Planes and ships moving around southern Sweden and Poland lost connectivity as their radio signals were interfered with. Since then, the region around the Baltic Sea, including neighboring Germany, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, has faced persistent attacks against GPS systems. Tens of thousands of planes flying in the region have reported problems with their navigation systems in recent months amid widespread giant jamming attacks, which make GPS inoperable. As the attacks have grown, no surprise to anyone, Russia has increasingly been blamed with open source researchers tracking the source to Russian regions such as Kaliningrad. In one instance, signals were disrupted for 47 hours continuously. On Monday, marking one of the most serious incidents yet, airline Finnair canceled its flights to Tartu, Estonia for a month after GPS interference forced two of its planes to abort their landings at the airport and turn around. Talk about dependence on GPS. Apparently, you just can't land anymore without it. The jamming in the Baltic region, they wrote, which was first spotted in early 2022, is just the tip of the iceberg. In recent years, there's been a rapid uptick in attacks against GPS signals and wider satellite navigation systems known as GNSS. That's, you know, generic satellite navigation, including those of Europe, China and Russia. The attacks can jam signals, essentially forcing them offline or spoof the signals, making aircraft and ships appear at false locations on maps, which you can imagine might be even more damaging than just jamming outright. Beyond the Baltics, war zone areas around Ukraine and the Middle East have also seen sharp rises in GPS disruptions, including signal blocking meant to disrupt airborne attacks, which actually, as we'll see a little bit later, I think is is the the, the actual goal of this because of the, the degree to which drones are now using GPS. Wired wrote, now governments, telecom and airline safety experts are increasingly sounding the alarm about the disruptions and the potential for major disasters. Foreign ministers in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania have all blamed Russia for GPS issues in the Baltics this week and said the threat should be taken seriously. Jamie Adamson, the chief of public affairs for the Swedish Navy, told Wired, quote, it cannot be ruled out that this jamming is a form of hybrid warfare with the aim of creating uncertainty and unrest. Of course, there are concerns, mostly for civilian shipping and aviation, that an accident will occur, creating an environmental disaster. There's also a risk that ships and aircraft will suspend their traffic to this area and thereby affect global trade. Joe Wagner, a spokesperson from Germany's Federal Office of Information Security, told Wired, a growing threat situation must be expected in connection with GPS jamming. Wagner said there are technical ways to reduce its impact. Officials in Finland say they've also seen an increase in airline disruptions in and around the country. And a spokesperson for the International Telecommunication Union, a United Nations agency, told Wired that the number of jamming and spoofing incidents have increased significantly over the past four years. And interfering with radio signals is prohibited under the ITU's rules. Gee, you think Russia is slowed down by a NATO agency, the International Telecommunications Union, saying, well, you shouldn't be doing that, right? 
Attacks against GPS and the wider GNSS category come in two forms. First, GPS jamming overwhelms the radio signals that make up GPS and make the systems unusable. Second, spoofing attacks, which actually are far more sophisticated, can replace the original signal with a new location. Spoofed ships can, for example, appear on maps as if they're at inland airports. And actually, that did happen recently. Both types of interference have increased in frequency. The disruptions, at least at this stage, mostly impact planes flying at high altitudes and ships that can be in open water, not people's individual phones or other systems that rely on GPS. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.